so weird. All right. Next up, tier one. Full case, team number six. Yeah, I'm sorry, JMVV, I messed up. I don't know why I meant to do drafted. I don't know how I did that. I don't have any reason to do random over drafted. I don't care. So we're going we're still going in order. This is five of ten from FedEx. So I'm just gonna go in that order. Oh. Wow. The family is picking up round table and they're coming here to eat round table. So I can have one piece of round table pizza and then have a stomach ache. So that's cool. Oh, they're gonna sort. Oh yeah, that's right. The CSB sorting crack sorting staff is are they're both on vacation. I have no sorters or no sh and no shippers, no snowmobiles and no skis. I know it's hard being me. Oh, this is like a must be a redemption. I didn't even ask for round table. I just, I'm getting it. What? Maybe it's not a redemption. Brett Beatty, 67 to 75 to start. GMBBB. Your New York Mets. Christian Encarnacion Strand to 149. Rookie Relic Auto. Perko. And this is kind of beefy. Oh, it's a relic. Vlad Guerrero Sr. to 25. McFly, your Nationals. By way of Montreal, Cattell Marte. Who told you you suck? Let me talk to him. I'll straighten him out. <laughs> Got it. I'm watching Seinfeld again. And every time I don't watch it for several years or whatever, I forget how good it is. You really have to take a little break from it, though. If you watch it too much, it's, you never fully appreciate how freaking hilarious it is. At least for me. Jeremy Pena to 99. John. Oh, a Freddie Freeman. Wow, dual patch autograph to 10. Joby. Wait, is that the original Joby? Where's Joby? I swear Joby's been in this group for 10 years, but I don't remember the last time I saw his name in a break. Cool Freddie Freeman. Corbin Carroll relic. Todd, 149. And Mookie Betts to 75. More Dodgers for Joby. Dooby 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 doo. So what wrestling do you want, Pills? Pills, what do you want? What does anybody want? JMVB wanted more tier one and I posted random, but still. If anybody who's a regular, old, great customer wants anything, I'm here to do breaks tonight. I just don't know. I, I, I don't know what you guys want. I know what Riddy wants. Ooh, nice smolts to 25. Hunter, thanks for joining the breaks. Have a red ink John Smoltz to 25 that looks like it's from Definitive. And a Dale Murphy. Holy crap. Back to back Atlanta Braves legends to 25.
Salvador Perez to 199 relic. We a double relic? Yeah. A Rosarena to 149. And a Ronnie Mauricio rookie for the Mets to 99. Anyway, any actual request pills or just jokes? Does this Joe Mama guy have cards? In like AEW, or is, does he have any cards, or he's not in anything? He has no cards. Of course not. Let me catch up on my sleevings or my top loadings. Mm, yeah. Well, when I survey the room and there's no UCCF or <coughs> uh, Darth retired Bone Scout or I don't know. I don't know who's which. What WWE people we have, you know. Birch. Everybody knows that the Chronic is a Dr. Dre album. Birch, you seem a little tense. Is there maybe anything you could do to... Wow, Andrew Jones now to 149. Hunter, so many braves. It's the die cut kind of one. Ronnie Mauricio, rookie auto to 199 for the Mets. Big old relic. Ooh, wow. Hank Aaron Willie Mays. Dual game use relics to five. Look at that. Dang. That's a clip. Brady Singer, 98 of 99. Marby for your Royals and Lindor to 125. Yes, that card has to be randomed because it's a team's break, so. Per the CSB rules that everyone knows, we will put the Braves in the randomizer for the amount of times that equals how much they cost, and then we'll do the same for the Mets. I think the Braves. The Braves definitely cost more than the Mets in this break, but it's not like. You know, it's not like super crazy one-sided. Yeah, that's an Omni Relic right there. Gotta be randomed. If it's a random break, then it goes to the top team because we do a random, but if two people buy the teams, then we have to random it. It is on the on the uh, frequently asked questions page. If you want to look at the rules. <coughs> Let me send a picture to Omni to get him jealous. This is super thick. Can't even open it. Hmm, maybe just three. Doesn't look like a booklet or a nab. Wow, a sprint speed Corbin Carroll to 15, Todd. Look at that. Tier 1 is so much better this year. 9 of 15. 
It's the advanced stat autograph. And a gigantic Ezekiel Duran to 49, Relic Auto. Original Ken. It's a Lindor Tier 1 Relic. David Bednar, Dual Relic to 99, and Buxton to 50. Oh, Chubby, you had the twins. I didn't even notice. They're over there on the far left. It's kind of hidden. On my uh, page or whatever. We're not even halfway through the case. Already a lot of cool stuff. Big Hurts. What do you want, Big Hurt? Immaculate. Chronicles, both. That's actually all I have. I got rid of every loose box I have. Kyle Schwarber to 75. Marby's girl. Tier 1 talent autograph. Encarnacion Strand rookie autograph to 99 for the Reds. Perko. Bregman to 199. And a Jason Dominguez rookie. Yeah, it has been a good case. Yeah, I don't have a, all I have is cases of Immaculate and Chronicles. Did a little uh, summer sale and got rid of a lot of stuff that it was fine, but I was like, we're never going to get to all this stuff. I need I need money. I got national packages to pay for. Topps Chrome coming. Finest coming. Wait, did someone tell me if Finest sold out? On Topps website. Birch, you said you got a few cases. Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge autograph to 99. Original Ken. Wow, Randy Johnson. 5 of 25. Sideburns, that's awesome. By the way, if you're thinking of grading tier 1, I would say you're, you're looking at a lot of 9s. 8, eight, eight fives and 9s. Like, they're not the best for grading. If you really want to grade it, like, that's fine. Ah, Jordan Westberg relic. Game used to 49, Rookie Relic. And a Gavin Williams to 125. Like, it's possible that these base cards could do okay, but you'll just, you know, you can see a lot of, like, there's just a lot of that. They're just, like, soft paper, kind of. And so, they're not going to uh, grade well. If you just care about, like, getting 10s and 9.5s, or mostly tens, it's going to be tough. The Randy John, like, you know, they just have a lot of, like, like it's not terrible, but it's going to be like an 8, 5, or a 9, probably. You guys know the on-card autographs, like Randy Johnson had a pile of these and he signed them and he's, it's all, he's like, you know, they move them all around the desk and then, I do love Chronicles, it's, I love it. Yeah, only gold labels, oh, okay, fine, it's sold out. You wanna hear how stupid I am? I bought three cases of Finest <laughs> from Topps today, Topps' website. That's how good of a deal I thought that was. Even with the gigantic autograph checklist, which is scary, I think it's going to be good. 
Last year's is like $300 a box. And it sucks compared to this year's. From what I, what I'm, maybe not autograph wise, but Meyer to 199 Todd. <laughs> Museum, no. George Brett to 25, triple relic autograph. Three of 25, jeez. What is this tier one? It's like I don't even recognize tier one anymore. This is not tier one. This is way better than tier one. Bregman triple relic to 49. Dominic Fletcher. Todd for your Diamondbacks. And Nesteri Ruiz. Yeah, museum, I'm out. What was museum for you guys? Like 370 or something? 375. That's a lot. You probably could sell it eventually for 4 425 400 but then there's you know after fees it's like you, know, you can't make any money you need some Yankees four boxes left we're doing the Willie Mays or Aaron uh, Aaron, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays duel at the end of the case. Sorry, JMBBB and Hunter for the suspense, but. I like to keep the camera rolling and not cut the thing until all the boxes are open and all the cards are shown, you know. What is that? Oh, it's just a parallel. Miller to 199. Bryce Miller. <laughs> Gray Rod, number to 149, Relic Auto. Jose Ramirez Relic. <laughs> Hank Aaron. Hank Karen. Pablo Lopez? Pablo, wow. Pablo Lopez to 199, Chubby. Look at this. Rafael, a rookie base to 10. It's got a little, see, like there's a little ding right there, JMBBB. That's awesome. I haven't seen, have we gotten a base card to 10? Maybe we have. Maybe not a rookie? That's really cool. The base cards were a good addition. One thing that helps me be able to buy stuff on Topps website is I don't have to pay sales tax because I have a certificate. So that helps. Like once you add sales tax on top of these boxes that are $300, $375, $400, it's like, sheesh. And the cool thing is it only took like eight months for Topps to accept my wholesale certificate for me to be able to do that. No, that's not true. It took years emailing them like, hey, I shouldn't be paying sales tax. I have a certificate. Nothing. Cove. Yeah. Yeah, I just show them, show them your birth certificate. What you want to do, Pills, let me walk you through the process, Pills. Go on to Twitter. The best way is to go on to Twitter well, take a picture of your birth certificate and your social security card if you have it. Go on to Twitter and just tweet at Tops with the pictures and they'll they'll hook you up. Another Brett Beatty to 49. JMVVB. Mason Miller? The stud Mason Miller? Psionics. He's good. Is he still good? Austin Hayes. That's a joke, by the way. Do not tweet your... Yeah, I know. It's funny, Ken. Funny you say that, Ken. Nolan Gorman to 99. STL crazy. Hey, there's a Cardinals relic. 
Batiste 125. Pick out cards. Okay, sure, Jan BBB. If I remember. Maybe message me. Um Funny story about the sales tax, Ken, is I I was aware of that, that you can file like I could file with the state of California to get a refund on sales tax I've had to pay because of people not taking my certificate. And I had thousands of dollars of sales tax paid over COVID for boxes because they wouldn't take my certificate. And I didn't file it because I was told by my bookkeeper and CPA that if you do that a lot, that you can get audited for that. And I was like, well, I don't want to get audited. And then I got audited. <laughs> and then I said, hey, by the way, state of California, I have several thousand dollars of purchases where I paid sales tax. Would you take a look at those? And they said they would. So, you know, I was going to take one for the team. That's true, Ken. They, okay, that's true, sort of. They do matter, even if you're right, because it takes... They make you send them all kinds of crap, and I don't have time for that. I spent hours making reports and sending all these things. Spencer steered a 25 for the Reds, Perko. So even if I'm audited and everything's perfect, it's still a huge pain in my butt. Oh, breakout autograph blue, Jackson Churio. Redemption. But in the end, it'll be fine. George Springer to 149. And is that Galoff rookie to 125? Let me put it this way. Whatever measly amount of money I get back after this audit is not worth... I would have rather not gotten audited and just not gotten that money. It was not worth it. It's been almost six months. And I sent them everything and it's all perfect and there's nothing wrong. And still... This is the longest, most annoying process ever. That's why I'm freely discussing it, because I have nothing to hide. Last box. Zach Neto. Sideburns for your angels. Was Robert an auditor? Or a CPA? Jimenez to 149. JMBBB, your guardians. Man, there really weren't Yankees in this, Ken. Another Sabathia, or a Sabathia, another guardian, I mean. Oh. And a Dernsby Swanson, number to 25, JRH, to end it off. Yeah. Well, I didn't need to call Robert because I have a CPA and she's amazing. And I have a bookkeeper, and she's amazing. You are looking at the most organized, best bookkeeping, perfect tax-paying breaker in the world. I, I'm a hundred percent. I can say that with a hundred percent confidence. Really, Ken? Five years. Man. Why is it so hard? Okay. Before the hit recap, let's do this painful uh, random. So Hank Aaron's on the top. So Braves will go, and I'll show you how this works. Hunter. I know they do, but 
they're not getting any from me. <laughs> it's gonna be a huge waste of time for them. I told them. I told them right away, I was like, just so you know, this is gonna be a big waste of time and money for you guys, because you're not getting any money out of me. Everything's perfect. And they're like, oh yeah. Oh, sure, liar. Everyone says that. That's what they said. Well, everybody says that. Oh, okay. Let's dance then. So the Braves have 200 entries into the randomizer, which is how much they cost. The Mets have 135. Just putting them in Excel, and then I'm going to put them in random.org, and we're going to random it eight times. random.org what's the fuss about randomness okay so first 200 braves two hundred braves one hundred and thirty five Mets Yeah. What's a hundred? What's two hundred plus one hundred thirty-five? Quick, Birch. It's three hundred thirty-five. So we should expect to see three hundred thirty-five entries when I do the first random. If it would, if a, if it's not, then I did it wrong. Okay, eight times. Good luck. Three hundred thirty-five, just like I said. Oh god, hold on, I gotta use the side scroll. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And number eight. Atlanta Braves. Congrats, Hunter. Sorry, J and BBB. If it were up to me, they wouldn't make dual player cards of different teams. Not up to me at all. All right, Andres Jimenez to 149, Zach Neto to 199. Is this your, is this your first break here, Hunter? If so, pretty good. Congrats. Steer to 25. The Jackson Churio blue foil breakout autograph redemption. Beatty to 49. Mason Miller to 249. Pablo Lopez. Uh, Bryce Miller. Gray Rod Relic Auto to 149. Meyer. Uh, Fletcher. The George Brett Triple Relic Auto. Pudge to 99. Randy Johnson to 25. Oh, nice. Thanks for joining. Schwaber to 75. Christian Encarnacion Strand to 99. Corbin Carroll to 15. Durand 49, Mauricio to 199, Andrew Jones, uh, Brady Singer, Brett Beatty, Encarnacion Strand again, a Freddie Freeman dual patch out on 10, Pena to 99, Dale Murphy to 25, John Smoltz to 50, uh, also to 25, sorry, jeez, and there's that Hank Aaron Willie Mays dual 